You have a choice. I didn't. Rosalie Hale is one of Twilight's most compelling characters, but you wouldn't know it from just the movies, or even the books. Behind her radiant beauty and grace hides a complex, dark past that's not widely explored. We think Rosalie's backstory deserved more screen time, and here's why. Hey, come over here. We've been waiting for you. Based on what we know from the original four books and what Stephanie Meyer has shared, Rosalie Lillian Hale was born in Rochester, New York in 1915. Her mother was a housewife, and her father worked at the bank. She also had two younger brothers. Her father's job was able to keep them well off during the Great Depression, so she lived a pretty privileged life at that time. Rosalie has always been beautiful, even since birth, and that became her defining quality while human, which she liked. Because of this, she envied how beautiful the mysterious Cullen family was. But since she rarely saw them, she didn't let it consume her. Rosalie eventually caught the eye of the bank owner's son, Royce King II, and the two began dating. The relationship was solely based on physical attraction, though, as the two rarely spent time together. Rosalie realized this while visiting her friend, Vera, and noticing the love between the couple that her and Royce lacked. Later that evening, Rosalie found her fiancé under the influence while he bragged to his friends about how beautiful she was. This eventually led to the group of men brutally attacking Rosalie and leaving her to suffer in the street. She was soon found by Carlisle, who could smell her blood, and he decided to turn her into a vampire to be a potential mate for Edward. During the turning process, Rosalie's pain greatly increased, and she eventually woke up to the Cullens arguing about why Carlisle turned Rosalie. Edward openly rejected Rosalie as a romantic partner, which hurt her feelings, even though she wasn't interested in him either. Once Rosalie felt up to power, she went back and eliminated all of Royce's friends one at a time. She saved Royce for last, and made sure it was a drawn-out ending, even wearing a wedding dress for a dramatic flair. It seems that through this, Rosalie was able to get closure with her past life as a human. The blonde girl? That's Rosalie? While Rosalie's ego and vanity were still dealing with Edward's rejection, she was able to start assimilating into the Cullen family, accepting that Edward only saw her as a sister. It was all for the best, though, because two years into her transformation, she witnessed someone fighting with a bear outside Gatlinburg, Tennessee. That young man ended up being Emmett McCarty. She resisted the urge to drink his blood and instead carried him over 100 miles so that Carlisle could turn him at her request. She chose to save him because he reminded her of her friend Vera's baby son, Henry. That seems to give her a tether to her old life and what she dreamt of having, which was a loving relationship and a family. Once Emmett was fully turned, he and Rosalie fell madly in love, and her sibling bond with Edward was solidified. Rosalie and Emmett were never apart from each other and would sometimes break off from the main group to spend alone time together. In Midnight Sun, Edward and Rosalie's strained relationship gets a closer examination. Rosalie strongly disapproves of Edward's love for Bella, mainly out of jealousy, but it's more complicated. One might think that the jealousy stems from Edward's rejection of Rosalie, and it does a little, but Rosalie would give anything to be a human again and finds Bella's desires to become a vampire to be painful and a waste. In Midnight Sun, Rosalie's frustration with Bella is highlighted again during the infamous accident scene in Twilight. It's revealed that Edward knew that both her and Jasper were worried that Bella would realize something's off about the Cullens and blow their cover. Rosalie went as far as volunteering to end Bella to protect the family. This all sounds pretty harsh, but given that Midnight Sun is from Edward's perspective, we are able to get a better and more sympathetic understanding of Rosalie's position, more so than we did in Twilight what I miss the most. Possibilities. In the movies, we only get to see her from Bella's perspective, which isn't really fair to Rosalie's character. She went through a lot before getting turned, which influenced her demeanor. She comes off as cold and unwelcoming to Bella in Twilight. But without knowing her history, it seems like she's just an unkind character, which is not the case. Given what we know now, there's so much that the movies could have included about Rosalie's backstory, but the question is, why was her backstory altered and pretty much left out? 
On one hand, time constraints for the movies was a part of it, but given the incredibly dark nature of her history, it would have been difficult for the producers to keep the movie as kid and teen friendly as they wanted. In an interview with MTV, actress Nikki Reed, who played Rosalie in the movies, shared that she was intimidated by Rosalie's backstory. I think it's a very dark and dramatic backstory that Rosalie has, and Stephanie certainly gave me plenty to work with. Even Rosalie's motivation to dislike Bella wasn't fully explored. In Eclipse, we only get to see Rosalie's disdain for Bella because she thinks she's wasting her human life by wanting to be a vampire. That is true, but it would have been great to see a flashback of Edward and Rosalie when she was first turned, and why she was jealous of Edward's attraction to Bella. I think these alterations to the movie Rosalie made the audience less sympathetic to her and also left her as an incredibly watered-down side character, when she actually has a rich enough history to have her own movie or book series. Did any of these facts about Rosalie surprise you? Is there anything from here that you wish the movies would have included? Or are you happy with the final results? 